You may think I'm magical, but what's magic if you can't feel it? Taste it if you don't believe in it. Magic, this elusive thing that we try to write a recipe for, capture, wrap our minds around, grab a hold of. This spirit that somehow seems to embody everybody but you. It'd be holy if it left you feeling whole, but... Don't be fooled. These acts of ingenuity were about more than survival. In the midst of slavery, in the midst of rape, forced labor, trauma, the ability not only to take the worst of life, the most undesired parts of plants and animals, and not only make them literally dance in your mouth, but make that dance harken back to Senegambia, Ghana, Angola. That's innovation. That's creativity. That is genius. Soul food is an act of protest. More next class. Uh, read the Michael W. Twitty text for your discussion sections. I don't really like to do this, but I'll give you points back on your midterm if you prepare and give a response on a soul food dish. Five points. Don't miss your blessing, y'all. My grandma told me that we don't believe in black magic, voodoo, that African stuff. She said it's not of God. It's not what we believe. This lounge is disgusting. Remember when we destroyed your grandma's kitchen trying to be like the Great British Bake Off? I thought we were gonna die. <laughs> How was class? Fine. Okay then. Are you still thinking about Orgo for next semester? I don't know, maybe. What's up? What do you mean? I mean, you barely say two words to me. I'm studying. OK, but we'll be in the same place, but I don't know, in two different places. E-school is tough. You know, we're not the only two black girls anymore. We don't have to be. good, yo. Where did you get that? Wallace. You went grocery shopping in the dining mm -hmm. hall? Trifling. I'm already paying for it. That's exactly yeah, what That's not for. that deep, man. It is, though. I cleaned up the kitchen. Cool. Are you not staying for dinner? I'm not hungry. It's about to be fine. Maybe we need some space. We're just different now. I'll see you around. You good? OK. What's first? So would it be macaroni and cheese baked? Because that's the only way. To, that's the only way to eat macaroni and cheese. It would also be um, 
some green beans because I really love green beans. And it would be like three cups of um, egg goosey, which is my favorite food, egg goosey and pounded yam. Um, sprinkled in with some confidence, sprinkled in with a, you better not look at me the wrong way, with a dash of, I'm, I'm here for my people all the time, all day, every day. Oh, sprinkled in with a couple of, with a couple of flakes of, I'm always on beat. Um, I always clap on the shoes in the fours. Um, with a generous, a generous pouring of coconut oil. Um, because my edges need to be healthy. Because honestly, you know why they need to be healthy? Because so many black women have been snatching them. So I need the coconut oil and castor oil to regrow them. Um, so I'll put that in the recipe. With a, another cup of grace, because everyone can use grace. And a generous helping of humor, because that's how I get through life. There's not a lot of things that I hate about people, but I cannot stand the way that you cut those grains. I'm tired of you talking about You're how tired? I the please change I'm tired it. Of it. She said soul food, and I don't know what that is, but my soul is hurting watching it. <laughs> you have onions in the greens, Amaya. And? Not a day in my black life have I seen onions and greens. First off, I want to know how you cook greens. Because at the end of the day, I'm sure it won't taste fire like mine. Fire? Fire? I'm just saying. You're making smoothies. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're funny. You have Joe. I you mean, hey, Joe. you know, I guess I grew up on the soul part of Chicago. Oh. Suburbia. At the end of the day, you're the one doing the cornbread. I'm the one doing the greens. And I wish we switched. Well, it's too late now. No, it's too late now. I'm telling It's too late now. Go ahead, tell Ember. Okay. Go ahead. What do you do again? What do you do? Miss Plie. Miss Dancer. And? That's what you're going for, right? No. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to major in, but dancing is not it. Why not? Because that's just something I like to do when I have nothing else to do. Nothing else? Amaya, <laughs> the way that you talk to me about dancing, that does not seem like something you just do for fun. I don't know yet. Then what you want to be? A degree holding member of No, society. I'm for real. Like, what you want to be if you could be anything? I guess I haven't thought about that. Yeah, I know. Because you've been so busy doing all that crazy stuff. Like? Like? Like talking like somebody that ain't you? Changing your clothes, reading Cornell West or whatever. That's not crazy. I mean, yeah, but it ain't you. I'd be, I'd be spirit. I'd transcend space and time and physicality. I'd be soul because nobody can capture that, you know? Nobody can tell it where to move, how to move, or give it rights to move. When spirit moves, it doesn't need validation. It's free from all of that. I'd be a dancer. That's already you. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm for real. I mean, you, you are that. You stay in the studio, you just gotta say yes to the facts. Come on, dance, you know, do a little sign, sign. No, that's, that's just for me. It doesn't feel that easy. Dang, Lake Forest. I'm gonna have to put you on my mixtape. L-O-L. You got bars talking about transcendence or whatever. You keep talking about this tape and I've literally heard nothing. You know, just wait on it, it's coming. No, I need proof. Come on, it's a process. What? We know you got the beats. Just go ahead and spit a little something. something. Doesn't feel that easy. Come on, man. Yes. 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 Mm. Mm, this look good. This look good. 
Who's seasoning? Who's seasoning? <laughs> you bring falafel or something? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm from Dallas. <laughs> what? Boop, bye. Yes, love, good. Yes, love. I don't know what, what we y'all cooking. Where's Lena, though? Oh, that smells wonderful. Don't it? Yeah. But what if black didn't mean broken? Didn't mean evil? What if when we said black, we meant good? What if black magic tasted like brown honey? What if God concocted something uniquely dark, uniquely African, uniquely me, a holy spiritual potion that connected me to the same confidence that made my ancestors sparkle. Wouldn't that be something to believe in? It's not, it's like not even a recipe, it's a potion. Like it's like it's an actual potion. I like would have a cauldron and it would be like my personal brand of black girl magic potion. Would like it would be like a little black cauldron um, surrounded by sunflowers with like maybe some gemstones in it. So like possibly like hmm, I like amethyst. I that's my birthstone, like and I and I just like the like the energy that surrounds amethyst. So I would have like amethyst. It would have um, water because I feel that in order to like be your best black girl self you need to stay hydrated. It would have coconut oil. Um, it would probably also have like vanilla extract um, for some reason. It would have probably a page out of um, Sassafras, Vipers, and Indigo by Nzaki Shange, a nameplate necklace in it, maybe like the first couple of notes of a Lauryn Hill song. Um, like in order for it to work, it would like need to have Lauryn Hill playing in the background. Hoop earrings. Um, the kind that you can, like, also wear as bracelets if you really wanted to. And, like, just some paint. Like, a lot of paint. I think that's the recipe for my black girl magic potion.